Alex had done his time. I'm aware of that. Yeah, seven years in prison is enough, don't you think? Some would say not. Oh, like you, for instance. That's not what I've reported. Oh, but you did. You, you did report that when you published his name in your dirty newspaper under the headline, Keller Walks Free. That headline was fact. But he was terrorised. They threw eggs at him, smashed his windows. You know, his daughter was bullied at school. They refused to serve him in local shops. They were outcasts. That has nothing to do with me. I didn't print his address. Oh, come on, you knew exactly what you were doing when you printed his name and the village where he lived. What he did was wrong. Okay? But I'm not denying that. And Alex lived with it every minute of every day that he was devastated about what he did. He sought help. He had counselling. He... um. He stopped drinking completely. He'd never drive again. He was working so hard to put his life back together. It's not my fault. I was just doing my job. How dare you? You ruined his life. Look, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But I don't have a brother because of you. And his daughter doesn't have a father because of you. I just wanted a good story, something that resonated with people, a headline that, that meant something. Right. So we've lost everything and Alex is dead. How's that for a headline?